Near the southernmost tip of the island Paradise, Palawan, lies a mining operation considered a frontrunner in responsible mining in the Philippines. The Rio Tuba Nickel Mining Corporation and the adjacent refinery of Coral Bay Nickel Corporation are under Nickel Asia, the largest producer of raw and processed nickel ore in the country and one of the biggest in the world. Rio Tuba operations date back to 1977. It spent billions in dollars not just in mining and processing nickel ore, but also to rehabilitate hectares of mined out lands. In Rio Tuba, it partnered with locals and indigenous tribes to build a self-sustaining community at the mining site. Rio Tuba supplies limonite ore to Coral Bay, a hydrometallurgical nickel processing plant which converts mining wastes and low-grade nickel into high-value compounds. It's the second refinery of Nickel Asia, with the first one in Surigao del Norte. 2017 is a time of upheavals for the mining sector. Former Environment Secretary Gina Lopez shot down 23 mining sites in February, including Nickel Asia subsidiary Hinatuan Mining Corporation, for operating on functional watersheds and displacing local communities. Lopez often mentioned Nickel Asia in Palawan as one of the few she will not shut down. In a visit to the site, she said she loved the rehabilitation work being done by Nickel Asia. The experience go in doing any kind of development work is if you have a model, what you are saying is, Pwede pala, kaya pala natin. And this sets the bar. Before her confirmation was rejected, Lopez also banned future open pit mining in the country. She called open pit mining madness. The ban does not cover existing open pit mines. Her issuances stand until new ones are in place. Open pit style is how Rio Tuba extracts saprolite and limonite ore, which are shipped raw or processed to Japan, China, and Australia. The buyers use these to make stainless and carbon steel. Open pit mining is being done in the area behind me by the Rio Tuba Nickel Mining Corporation. It is part of the 990 hectares given to the company under its mineral production sharing agreement with the government. I am actually standing on a stockpile of nickel ore that will be shipped to China and Japan. Rio Tuba excavates land between 5 to 20 meters from the top soil to extract nickel, but stops upon reaching the bedrock. The process involves deforestation and excavation of vast tracts of land, angering environmentalists and communities. Open pit mines involve the use of trucks and other heavy mechanical equipment, which can cause noise pollution. Decades of excavation lead to barren landscapes and dirty air, with red dust covering roads of surrounding towns. Wastewater from the mine can pollute nearby streams and rivers. In some cases, open pit mining forces residents to resettle to other areas, uprooting them from their communities. But Nickel Asia Vice President for Corporate Communications, Jose Bayani Bailon, says responsible mining can be done, but it comes with a hefty price. Of the 990 hectares given to Rio Tuba under its mineral production sharing agreement, only about 300 to 400 hectares are being mined. Once the company is done mining a certain pit, rehabilitation begins. It's expensive. Um, having to recontour the land, you know, then having to cover it up with uh, topsoil and you know, chicken dung and everything. And of course, planting all of those um, seedlings which come from your seedling bank. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's an operation which only responsible miners would, would, would take. You know. It took Rio Tuba nine years to turn this 25-hectare open pit into a landscape thriving with many species of trees, shrubs, vegetables, fruits, insects, and animals. From 2001 to 2015 alone, Rio Tuba spent more than 920 million pesos for environmental protection services. Nickel Asia also employs local residents and indigenous tribes. Regularized workers are given free housing and have walking distance access to quality healthcare, education, and other facilities. As long as a relative is working at the mine or one of the institutions, the family keeps the house. Several hospitals and school staff are Nickel Asia scholars. In 2016, it received an award from its peers for excellence in environmental management. Environmentalists say open pit mining obliterates biologic life at the surface, and no amount of rehab can bring that back. For now, companies like Nickel Asia see a future in finding the balance between profit and environmental protection and rehabilitation. Mara Cepeda, Rappler, Palawan.